Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>
Usually those are just bones jutting up. But anyway, I know you have served Bandai for a long time, but his megalomaniacal ways must come to an end. Oh. Okay. You have committed the ultimate heresy. Not only have you turned your back on the Emperor and stepped from his light, you have profaned his name and almost destroyed everything he has striven to build. You have perverted and twisted the path he has laid for mankind to Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Oh my god. Your sentence has been long overdue. And I feel like I'm playing Dark Tide. <laughs> now it is time for you to die. We don't have time to die. I'm too busy. Right, right. I think I remember that too. Some girl came <laughs> in here and stared at me with the brave, flustered eyes. If I had the proper bodily components left, I would probably have gotten a fairly insecure boner. That's the Adeptosauritis for- Insecure boner? Oh yeah! You haven't made female space marines, have you? Huh? Oh, no, that isn't even possible. Only lewd and deviant artists of pen and parchment ever come up with something like that. Even then, it would be casual with a process we end up throwing into the fire and the the Adeptus Astartes can only contain males. No girls allowed. They are yucky. Uh, you're yucky. <laughs> so, what's up with this Inquisition thing? Oh boy. Next episode. Inquisition. Actually, I think I have to go now. Stop. You're telling me about this Inquisition thing. Oh, hold it. Wow. I think that's your regular. We all have thousands of sacrificed souls being prepared. Better go and check on it. What was that? Nothing, my lord. N nothing at all. <laughs> I will just go now. What the? You are not going anywhere until you tell me about the Inquisition. How did you do that? Have you forgotten? I'm the fucking Emperor. I still <laughs> and Put that on a shirt. We should out warp storms daily because I'm warp storms. I have nothing better to do. Now tell me. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Oh wait, that was. Oh, the emperor did that. <laughs> Excommunication of actually loyal Astartes <laughs> had thousands of imperial planets and its valuable assets destroyed because some by faffed with barbed wire and accidentally summoned a demon or. Have thousands of imperial planets and its valuable assets destroyed. Because some guy, I'm gonna say this, because some guy fapped with barbed wire and accidentally summoned a demon or two. I just said that. Be painfully hypocritical and use Xenos and demonic weaponry in aid in order to carry across my will. Use techno monkeys. But, my lords. The Inquisition's works has saved mankind on numerous occasions. Like during the High Fleet Leviathan Crisis, where the Inquisitor, known as Cryptman, stepped forward. The Tyranids, which he had previously named them, had managed to outmaneuver the Imperium, but thanks to Cryptman, their threat was abolished. He had managed to have a Mandros concoct a poison against the Tyranids, which they then managed to defeat them entirely with. Am I Interesting. A poison to defeat. Here. I gotta have to start writing a list over things I don't know what the fuck you are talking about. <laughs> That's probably how regular folks feel when we talk about Warhammer. Hey, right. It's kind of nasty. But still, it was quite heroic of him. And how much did this threat cost to abolish? Um. Well, let's just say he didn't have the luxury to count the cost. 
Anyway, there was also <laughs> that that that's a argument. First war of Armageddon, where the Grey Knights helped the Space Wolves fight off a demon Primarch. Please don't get over sensitive about the Primarch thing. I really don't need more of this. Now you are bringing out those fucking Grey Knights again. The fat, stupid ass baby carrier Dread Knight thing. My inexistent eyes are still. Or from seeing that abomination. Yeah, I agree. Received great aid from the Grey Knights in their battle. And then what? Uh, what do you mean? What happened after the battle had ended? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> the Space Wolves kind of wanted to save the survivors of the war, but the Inquisition sort of wanted to put them into labor camps and sterilize them and have oh. them die off, which the um. Space Wolves didn't really like that much, so... Uh, mm, no. <laughs> well, there was a Cold War, and the Grey Knights betrayed the Space Wolves, and some shit happened, but that isn't important. <laughs> because, well, one time the Grey Knights stopped a bloodthirsty using an ancient, very dangerous technology known as the Blood Tide from destroying a world, and it was truly glorious. And then what? Oh, shit, um, they... Killed a massive amount of innocent <laughs> in the battle and adorned their armor in their blood. But just fucking stop. This organization, however it came to fucking be, was obviously pure, concentrated, full brain stupidity. And mm -hmm. whoever came up with the mm -hmm. idea to create it in the first place is obviously a fucking idiot. They walk around and do whatever they fucking feel like while laughing really snarky at the plebeian communities they see before them, or while having themselves and all their troops ornate in loads of fucking shiny shit and skulls to look oh so emperor worshipping when really they are just creeps in trench coats and creeps in trench coats. That is yeah. what it will ever be. Now, ready yourself, send this message to the scribes. I want it sent to every corner of the fucking galaxy. I, the Emperor of Mankind, hereby make my official decree that all organizations contained within the Holy Orders of the Emperor's Inquisition and the Adeptus Mini Storm shall be disbanded and removed from existence. All who work for either organization shall return to their sector of birth and work there as a regular citizen once more. Uh-oh. Views shall be branded renegades until they have given up their futile strive to conquer the galaxy in the name of their dogmatic religion. Sign the Emperor of Mankind. Yes, I shall go ahead and do that immediately, my lord. I'll be back when I'm finished. This is all fucking nuts. Seriously, how is <laughs> an organization like this bring into Exista? Wait a moment, I remember something. Shit, fuck. This can't be for real. Malkador. Still in episode four. Good Lord Inquisitor Fyodor Karras. What is it? Gordor. <laughs> I'm very busy initiating exterminatus on this mining world without giving me this shiny shit you need. Seriously, we can't have a soldier walking around without the blade. A very important message has been sent to you directly from the Holy Terror. <laughs> what is it about? Here, read it. Gonna be too happy. What? This is heresy. <laughs> Ooh. So five, Melkador the hero, which we will not be watching today. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was great. Some great episodes. Alrighty. Hi. You beautiful people. You're not mine. <laughs> you are you and you alone. Um, so yeah, that was the uh episode three and four. Uh we get to learn a little bit more about the Inquisition and the Amp is not too happy with what's going on. He's getting it all laid out and it's an overload of inf information so great great
great show so far it's just it's perfect i love it it's simple but it's got like some cunning scripts to it um tapping with a, a barbed wire that that was a new one today <laughs> So yeah, that was a great episode. I love this show so much and I'm always excited to come back and watch it. It's, uh, it's got all these little, little Easter eggs of lore. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Um, I have started a Patreon and if you want your name shouted out, you can sign up for that and I would shout out a name right about now, but I don't have anyone that has signed up but uh, if you feel like you want me to say your name check out the links down below um, I also have a discord that I started up so you can also check that out down below and uh, you can always find me on Instagram in a link down below so I will check you guys later I hope you guys have a fantastic evening take the most of care I love you all ciao